Hey Brett, I'm a 13-year-old girl from Saudi Arabia. When I was in Canada, my parents decided to put me in summer camp. In the summer camp, I had one friend. She was Jewish. She was extremely nice. But she had two friends who weren't what I considered nice. They were also Jewish. They would tell me that I killed their country. I bombed it. They would also accuse me of being a terrorist. Over the years, I have refrained from making friends with other non-Muslim people. What do I do? <clears throat> it's easy. There are people out there who are afraid to love. I'm afraid to love, but I, I made the commitment of loving anyway. I got married. I have kids. I'll tell you, the responsibility of having five children, worrying about them every day, and worrying about my wife. <clears throat> it, uh, sometimes I lay in bed at night and I just shake. I'm scared that something will happen to them because, you know, some things have happened to my kids. And, uh, um, and I have to ask myself, is the risk of loving worth the reward of loving? And for me it is. And it should be for you too because otherwise <sighs> you miss living. And, and you got a great advantage here. Look, you met these three girls. All three were Jewish. One of them was fantastic, the other were a bummer. Isn't it neat that one of them was fantastic, which shows you, don't judge a book by its cover. You don't judge them because they're Jewish or because they're non-Muslim. You're going you're gonna to run into people who are non-Muslims, who are fantastic, who will be great friends, and who are jerks. And it's going to be the same way to a Jewish person meeting Muslims. Jews will run into Muslims that are fantastic and jerks. But the thing is, as soon as you stop loving and shut that door and don't let it in, then you'll never make any great friends like that one girl who happened to be Jewish, that friend that you made at summer camp. <clears throat> so try to just go with the flow when it comes to running into people who, uh, um, who aren't kind to you because a lot of them regret their cruelty. Most people do. I was cruel to people when I was 13. <clears throat> I've seen some of those people as an adult I run into them in the business world. And I feel shame and humiliation for things I did when I was a kid. And very likely they will feel shame and humiliation sometime later in their life. That's their own business. But that little girl that you made friends with, that's important. So start now. And if you can, if you can afford it, allow yourself to be vulnerable enough to love and make friends. You won't regret it. Um, anyway, let me know what you think.